Hi, it's me, Luris. I make amigurumis and any crochet related projects. Welcome to Zero Vlog. We are just going to continue our SpongeBob Amigurumi keychain that we created on our previous video, which is this one. We made a body and I just added some details on the face and I use felt paper and a thread for the eyes so here's what you need since we are just going to make the arms legs and the facial the face. so here's what you need you need your fabric glue I use my Aimea 1.75 or 1.7 millimeter hook or Aimea 3 hook and then scissor, felt paper, blue thread, of course you need your lace weight yarn of white, yellow, black, and brown or khaki. As you can see, I already made the eyes the necktie and the collar of spongebob i just estimated it that it will fit to the body and i created the arm the right arm now we are going to make the left arm So you need to get your lace weight yarn in white and then we are going to make a magic ring. And then we are going to add six single crochet into the ring. So I'm done making my six single crochet. I'm going to close the magic ring. So this is just a reminder. In my previous video, I did tell you that you can substitute this yarn into a three ply or lace weight yarn because I am using a multi strand and I just divided the strands in half so that I can achieve the lace weight yarn. So if you are using a Monaco brand, you can use the three ply for this and then five ply for the body because the body is in fingering weight and then the rest of the parts are in lace weight so you need or you can substitute it to three ply and five ply of monaco mercerized cotton now I'm done with my six single crochet. In round two and three, we are just going to put six single crochet. And we will have two rounds of six single crochet. I am using a continuous round here because it's too small and I prefer to do it in continuous round and 
And if you can notice, the tail of the yarn is in the right side just like this because this one is the yarn that we are going to insert in the body and then we are going to tie it later and I will show you how. Now I'm in the last stitch of the third round. I'm not going to finish it with white. Finish it by inserting my yellow yarn. Because we're going to do the color change. And then you can cut. We just changed the yellow. Now we are going to do six single crochet in this round in our first color. So we're going to make single crochet with the yellow yarn I'm done with my first round of six single crochet using the yellow yarn now I'm going to add six more rounds of single crochet using this yellow yarn. And then we're going to chain 3 and then slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. And then slip stitch into the first chain that we've created and then slip stitch into the next stitch from the sixth six single crochet round and then we're going to create four chain four chain and then slip stitch into the second chain from the hook And then slip stitch into the next single crochet. So we just created the next finger. You just need to add two more to create this. So I'm back. I just ended my last finger with a slip stitch into the next single crochet and then chain one and then cut fasten off and then i'm just going to insert this tail yarn into the hollow part of the arms
So before I forgot, since we are doing the left and the right arm, in the right arm, I did the three chain and then slip stitch into the two chains and then the next finger is four chain and then slip stitch into the next three chains so I did that three times In the left arm I did first the three chain and I make the two chain fingers into the last so that because this small finger will be its thumb and it should be in the front right so to emphasize that the thumb is in the front so I did the reverse of the fingers that I made in the right arm now grab your black lace weight yarn and we are still going to use the IMEA 3 hook and we are going to do magic ring and we are going to make five single crochet into the magic ring Now we are going to increase in the next round. Done with round two. Now round three to four. I'm just going to put ten single crochet in two rounds. I'm done with my two rounds of ten single crochet. I just did it off cam because I can't see the stitches with my camera in my face. So, next in the fifth round, we are going to decrease. So, the pattern is to decrease and then six single crochet and you will have eight stitches in this round. I'm done in round 5. Now round 6 and 7, you just have to do single crochet around and that is 8 single crochet for 2 rounds. I'm done with my 8 single crochet. Now I'm going to turn because we are now going to do this in rows so in this will be our first row and we are going to and we are going to put five single crochet I'm done with my first five single crochet row now I'm going to turn and make another 5 single crochet row and then I'm going to add 1 chain because we are now going to do this in rounds. So chain 1, I'm going to put 1 single crochet on the side of my last single crochet row. And then one to the first row of single crochet. Then I'm going to put three single crochet to the ones that we 
didn't put any stitches on the rows and then one single crochet on the first row and another single crochet into the second row and then we have five rows here right and we are going to skip the first single crochet here and we are going to move on into the next single crochet and we are going to decrease twice So we will have nine single crochet. You can now put stuffing into the into the into the feet or shoes. After doing the nine single crochet, now we are going to. To make nine single crochet and then we are going to pass them up. and then slip stitch So, you can see the shape of its shoes. It's like peanut. So, the pattern in this round is single crochet decrease three times. So, I'm done and I have six single crochet in this round. And I will make four rounds of six single crochet using the white yarn now I'm done with my four rounds of six single crochet now I'm going to to crochet six single crochet using the yellow yarn and then I'm going to add two rounds of six single crochet and then we are going to change to color brown now I'm going to crochet the brown I'm going to put six single crochet of brown and then I will add two more rounds of six single crochet and then fasten off. Now I'm done with my legs. One leg. Just leave enough yarn tail for sewing later. And I'll just make 
the other one and I'll be back. 